Hello and welcome to Brave Camp Bootcamp. This is Johan here and today we'll be reviewing how to implement contact tracing using Brave Camp's Creator Contact Analytics platform. Let's dive into a case that we have already created. In this case here, we have gotten some information from one of our employees. I'm an employer that has some offices that have opened back up again. And unfortunately, we were notified that the employee has tested positive for COVID-19. They have provided us some information and some guidelines of where the officers were located when they came into work class and also the date that they were at the office. We were able to use this information to create a case and select the cameras that are relevant to the case as well, specified for the date and time frames provided. I can now do a search for the employee using face recognition. By clicking here, face recognition, we are able to do a search for faces. And we can click show faces here to get an idea of where the employee was and who they have interacted with and who we should notify of having to go into quarantine for the time being due to the circumstances and make sure that they are taking care of themselves and their other co-workers as well. Go to face recognition like I'm showing here, hit apply, show faces, and we're going to be able to see all the cameras, uh, faces that came up in the cameras by searching for all these faces. Let's say I know the employee's identity like I know that. I can click here on the upper left hand corner of this person's face is the employee I'm searching for. I can click this little icon on the upper right hand corner, little face, as I'm through the search bar. I can see I can add it here, we can hit apply. And what we should see now is every occurrence that the employee has come through the recorded cameras, the camera recordings we selected. Here we come to the corridor and we see that he come through seven times, the entrance way once, and the dining hall zero times. If we wanted to know about his whereabouts and the direction or the corridor entrance, we can search at the synopsis overview of the recording and see what areas he might have walked through and where he was interacting with other possible individuals or colleagues that we might want to notify of their potential risk. Let's do a search here and see if we can locate the employee and see the activity in the synopsis in this time frame. Here we have the employee coming through several times, 8, 11 in the morning, 8.57, and we can see where the employee came through in the areas where he walked through as well, and people he might have interacted with as well. This is a synopsis overview, and we can see the timestamps on the specific object that we're looking for a person. If you want to see the original video, all we have to do is double click on the object and we can see the original video and that this person interact with anybody else as he was walking by in the hallway. For example, here we can see that he's interacted with another employee and had a small conversation. Maybe this one action item is that I can take as an employer to notify this employee and other employees that came through this area um, and interacted with this employee that they should go into quarantine for the time being and take precautions. Additionally, with facial recognition, if we get some insight about what that person might be wearing that day, we can also do something like person attributes to conduct a search, be it the combination of clothing they were wearing that day, long sleeve, short sleeve, or colors as well. It's just another way that we can do a search using contact tracing. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this overview helpful. If you have any further questions, or would like to have an expanded demonstration of how BriefCamp's video contact analytics platform can be used for contact tracing, feel free to reach us at BriefCamp Bootcamp at BriefCampBootcamp.com or visit our website at www.briefcamp.com.